Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a Kaden 135 scale and it copies roughly V15T with the Hodgkin's machine gun. And you can see that we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. And also this is already a second version of this unusual vehicle and so whole kit proved to be quite, I would say, good. So that's why it is uh, really interesting to see what is offered in this new boxing. So first of all, box size is typical for this brand and this type of the kits from ICM. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, just to remind you, this is a 135 scale and kit number is 35572. And also here on the side you will find some information about the kit and also short history notes. So we have 128 parts plus 8 parts for the machine gun. And also assembled vehicle will be 128 millimeters as it's written here. Again, it's a bit difficult to read because we have a dark uh, printing of the words on the dark background. It's not that I would say cool. And here you can see also one of the marking options. I'm saying one of the marking options because I'm hoping that there will be more in the assembly manual, but we will see further in the video review. And the overall packaging is typical, we have the seals from all four sides. So I'm going to cut through them right now and we will check everything together. In the meantime I can also remind you that uh, if these seals are broken it means somebody opened the kit before you and it's a good thing to ask seller why it was opened before you and check all the parts if they're uh, in place and nothing was taken out. Okay, so this is a, as you can see, flexible top cover. And then on the top or underneath we have this white cardboard box which actually protects everything inside and if I open it here are all the parts which are included here as you can see this is a really nice quality so just give me a second to take them out they are all packed into one plastic bag but I think there is plenty of space so they should not arrive to you in a damaged condition at least mine are fine Okay, so now I'm going to open it. Here we have also several small plastic bags. For example, this one is dedicated to clear frame and obviously it is done in order to avoid any unnecessary molding damage. So just give me a second to take it out. And here it is, let's zoom in. So here we have clear parts for the windscreen and I would say that molding quality looks nice. I hope that there are masking templates included because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to mask them and we also have headlamp lenses here. Maybe I will bring it closer so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Here you can see them. And molding quality is in all recent releases from ICM. It is really beautiful. Next we continue with machine gun. So here it is. And uh, this actually are all eight parts which you will need for the Hodgkin's machine gun. And as usual, I suggest we start with the macro view of this part. So let's go. So that was the sprue with machine gun. I hope you managed to see all the details on this frame. Next we continue with a bigger sprue so we will have to zoom out a bit because here we get first a car body parts and as you can see they are designed as a large panels so be sure to check their overall alignment but I think it won't be a really difficult thing to assemble together by the way note that windscreen is molded together with the screen wipers and we also have some pre-molded features on this rear cover which will be installed somewhere here and again I suggest we go into the macro view and check all the parts closer together. So overall molding quality looks fine on these parts. There are a lot of pre-molded elements, so you have to be careful in order not to break them. 
But now we are going to the next sprue, which is more, I would say, busy with uh, small parts. Here we get some internal elements as well as external panels for the coding. But everything looks fine and without further ado, let's switch to the macro mode and check all these parts a bit closer. In my opinion, it's really good that we get engine out of the box. Yes, these coding parts are modded as a, I would say, single piece house, but still with some slight modifications, you will be able to expose the engine. And in my opinion, this is a really nice bonus to have in the standard package where you don't have to pay extra. Next, we continue with two identical sprues. So here we have parts for the road wheels and also for the front and rear seats. In my opinion, they look fine, but these wheel rims, they actually hint that we get the vinyl tires. So be ready for this element. Vinyl tires, as you remember, they're a bit tricky to work with and also to paint. So maybe it would be a wise idea to get some resin replacement. As far as I know, uh, the CMK, they should be producing the resin upgrade and that would be a great idea to get it because it will considerably improve the overall appearance and it won't get unnoticed on your model and just to give you an idea about the vinyl tires i will bring them into the frame here so here they are maybe let's bring them closer to the camera so these are typical vinyl parts and whereas they are fine for the out of the box build i wouldn't recommend them for some sophisticated project so as i said it's better to invest a bit more and get uh, nice features on your model and last but not the least is the biggest plastic sprue here so this one is dedicated to all the chassis parts and as you can see we even have the folded roof here because we are replicating the vehicle with a folded roof and also some pioneer tools again some engine parts brakes the main chassis which is molded as a single piece part some suspension elements and let's go for the macro and check all these parts even closer Knowing vehicle sets from ICM, I'm not, I would say, doubting that this kit will be easy to assemble. And again, I will repeat myself that it's really great that all these mechanical parts and suspension parts are copied out of the box. This is a really nice touch and it's good to see that manufacturer did not skip on the elements which are not that easily visible on the finished model. Next, we continue with the decal sheet. So this one is printed in form of this small addition. As you can see, we even have some decals for the cockpit. But obviously, if you want more, it's better to search for some aftermarket. And next, we continue with assembly manual. So there are actually two assembly manuals because the machine gun is provided as a separate paper insert. So let's close the lenses and zoom out a bit. Here you can see this uh, Hodgkin's uh, machine gun so as you can see we actually get the number of the actual kit and here on the rear side you'll see the assembly process for the machine gun and how it should be installed on the vehicle because there is a special installation spot for the machine gun and for the ammo for this machine gun but you have to drill it as you can see here and there is a zero no actually 1.8 millimeters diameter for this 
installation spot. That might be a bit tricky for some maneuvers, but I guess we sometime you'll be able to nail it in the right spot from the first try. Next, we continue with assembly manual. This one is provided in form of large cover printed brochure. Here we have short history note and technical specifications together with the covers chart. Next, we have the parts map. And note that red color means that these parts will not be used, so there are only few elements which will stay untouched. And also you have to modify the main chassis, as you can see you have to cut it off. And it is quite interesting what will happen if you leave it, because actually it does not influence on anything. And as you can see we have some assembly steps which are actually employed, so it might be handy for one of the markings I guess. So pay attention to such small notes because it will be necessary for the proper assembly. There is also use of the template as you can see for the suspension parts installation and so that they will be in the right position because both axles are actually attached separately so you need to have a proper angle between them. Next we continue with more leaf springs getting installed here and there. We start building the transmission, then we build in the parts necessary for the wheel drives. Here we continue with the front section as far as you can see. And again, it's a lot of stuff copied for the drivetrain out of the box. Here, for example, you can see whole page dedicated to the engine assembly and it would be a wise idea to add some wiring there as well. Maybe you'll find some reference photos which will help you in this. And next we start building the car body, as you can see that's on the 53rd step. And here we have to assemble various storage boxes, also steering wheel column is installed here. We also assembling the dashboard and some parts for the bonnet. And note that manufacturer does not offer the possibility to open the bonnet. So as I said before, if you would like to expose the engine, it would be a wise idea. But you have to do it by your own. Next, we continue with the front wheel fenders, also brake drums. And here you can see some Pioneer tools getting installed on the rear section, windscreen, the folded roof, headlamps, and here we get some final steps. So no masking templates. This is really interesting why they are not included here. Maybe because actually here you insert the clear parts into this frame so you can just paint it first and then insert the clear parts. Here we have the first marking option in a green color and here is another one in the green color as well but with some different symbols on the bonnet so actually we get two markings out of the box. And this kit should be already available, you can get it in Modelimax webshop. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and 